Thank you for coming today. Uh, we are doing those live events every Friday now. Um, to remind you, I am Patrick from Papier Plume in the French Quarter in New Orleans, and I wanted to invite somebody very special, uh, Nuance Journal, and you saw it on the post today. Uh, we're going to talk about journals, evidently, and she is going to present herself. Hi, I'm Emily Renee. I absolutely am stoked to be here. I was just saying, it's been 10 years since I first brought you that what? batch of journals. I didn't remember that being that years. long, 10 years. It's and so how did it happen? How did that happen? First, I counter, I know you came with journals. Well, I walked in with a handful of journals that I had made. Um, basically, I had, uh, I saw a shop like this one in Italy uh, about six years before. I walked in here and I was through a study abroad and I walked in and there was all these beautiful pens and journals and it was the first time I held a handmade leather journal and I was sold. I wasn't actually sold because it was too expensive. <laughs> so I took a picture okay. and I got back to the States and I showed a friend of mine these beautiful handmade journals and inks. and. Uh, Amazingly, she just looked at me and said, you know, I can teach you how to do that. And I started making them, so about five years before, mm -hmm. so 15 years ago, okay. I started making them and for myself and giving them as gifts. And then the people that I gave the gifts to would request, they, you know, they're like, make an extra one and I'll buy it and give it for graduation gift or a wedding gift or any of that. Anyway, I started making them, just having them on hand. And then when I walked in here, it was just to see if maybe you wanted to carry them. And you bought them all, and that's when I started the business. Yeah, no question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. I was ready. Yeah, let's talk about your journals. I mean, definitely, uh, they are so special, and they're all one of a kind, I would say. Yeah. I never saw two alike. So when you come to the shop, you're probably going to zero in into, you know, just because of the item you put on there. Uh, sure. The artistry is different from other journals that I've seen. I, I was buying a lot of, you know, kind of, I would say, symmetric. I don't know if that word making sense, but they were really kind of square to me, yeah. all the same. And uh, I was attracted by, uh, by your artistry right there. And so what do you have here? Uh, well, this one, for example, uh, this is a... Uh, this is a corkscrew from my um, my grandmother's collection of random things that she had. Actually, my great aunt, but it was at my grandmother's house. And as you have I, a lot of little knickknacks. I have a lot from of your family. Knickknacks. I don't know. Your it family comes, okay, so my family saves a lot of things. Um, okay. But then I also pick up a lot of things. Uh, this is from here in New Orleans. Somebody lost the the big O, and I scooped it up. Okay. Um, I don't know where. Uh, what it went to, but sometimes I find things literally as I'm exploring the streets, or I um, also other people buy things for me and bring them and say, Oh, this little nail, uh, I picked it up um, along a railroad track. I thought you might put it on a journal, and I'll put oh, it on a journal. Oh, and you do one for them? Yeah, I'm totally. Good. So okay. I have a lot of, uh, I have other people that bring me little things or point things out. Um, for example, this is something that I got when I was in uh, Oregon. It's a little ceramic pendant, and I picked it up because I knew I was working with this paper, and exactly. it would be beautiful with wow. it. So and I talk, got it. Are you talking to me about this paper? This paper is amazing. It's the journal ended up to be very light. I never seen any paper uh, to be so light. Oh, it's a traveling me. journal. It delights me. Uh, after years of using more traditional papers. Uh, I came across this, uh, it's a handmade paper from Nepal, and I love uh, the rich colors, and uh, because it is made from a fiber, the laka bush, that grows way up high in the mountains, uh, it's a long, strong fiber, so they can make the paper very thin, and uh, it's very durable, actually. When I first got it in, I buy it in the large, the parent sheets, fold it and tear it down to size and uh, then stitch it to the leather cover uh, by hand. Yeah. 
but I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to tear it. Um, so I had to, had to get a, a technique. And okay. in the end, I really like the effect. Uh -huh. So it has the deckle edge yeah, from... Let's see. So this is the deckle edge, and then this is the torn edge. So in the total journal, uh, it has a very soft edge feel. And this beautiful woody stuff is Pyrus out of Egypt. Uh, the everlasting paper. Uh, this used to be in scrolls. It's not so much for pen and ink, as you know, but no. I mean, you can paint on it, but I use it here more as a nod to the history of paper making. So this paper, we have to tell everyone that this paper, I do not want to use a fountain pen on it, okay? Right. Um, you use any felt tip or a rollable, it's totally fine. Uh, it's a totally different um, yeah. yeah. Feel with that. This is re traveling journals with your ballpoint, a solid fine pencil, or uh, a felt tip. Yeah. However, I... we have fountain pen ready. <laughs> <laughs> we do. And we have journals for, uh, I have journals for the fountain pen because I, I love the dip pens actually. And Patrick, you make all this oh, wonderful ink. I've been selling a few dip pens that you have, remember? I, so I, this I, one is actually a that. good fountain pen ready, right? Yes. Okay. So well, this is a creamy paper. This, uh, so this super lightweight paper is great to to carry. Um, this is a totally different style of journal. This is handmade, all natural, um, sustainable, all that jazz. This is more of a historic paper style. Uh, this one in particular, I love because I wonder if we can get some uh, yeah, backlight. Yeah, I don't know. We need a backlight to it. Uh, so this one. Yeah. This comes from Zirkal in Germany. Can you see that? Wow. Uh, the laid lines in this paper, um, this traditional style, usually it's like a grid. It's very, they're very straight and square lines. However, this is kind of an artistic take on that traditional style. I can see it. Sweet. That's cool. I absolutely love this paper. Um, this is kind of... Uh, but you can use it as drawing paper as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, probably the most people that buy this paper are artists. Um, so for drawing, um, of course letterpress, not so much in this journal. But you can use a fountain pen yeah. or a, um, a or a dip pen. Dip pen. I dip love pen. the dip yeah, pens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, like, if you're going old school, you might as well go all the way definitely. old school. I had a few customers like that too. And you actually integrated uh, some, time, uh, some little um, pen uh, loops inside your journal. Yeah. You could put a dipping or, or, or a pen. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, I work with the hide just seeing based on what cut I have per journal, what shape speaks to me. Um, and I, all the journals are like this. You almost, they're almost indestructible. Um, of course, paper has its own fragility, but um, I love the, this binding style because ultimately, no matter what part of the book you open to, it will lay flat. I love that. And uh, you can fold it mm -hmm. all the way open. Uh, it's a soft binding, but the leather will protect the paper. Mm -hmm. Um, also, the leather gets more and more beautiful the more you handle it. If you scratch it, if you have a scratch here, totally. you have taught me to rub it. And yeah, so I just put a little scratch on there. And then the friction from your hand, let's see if I can do it facing the other way. <laughs> the, <laughs> the friction from your hand yeah. um, or rolling it will make that go away. Yeah. I demonstrated very well. No, it's good. You I also mean, can, uh, this, this HUD has a pull up effect. Will not take. Oh so, no, what do you do? Oh. Crinkle. Uh, it's because of the way that they tan this hide. This is a cow hide and uh, it's got oils in it. But also, if oh you want to make God. it go dark again, oh. you can, same thing, uh, apply okay. friction. Wow. It's the first time I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> not all hides do no, this. No, 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 it's just... a mark of high quality yeah, okay. um, and yeah. a particular style. So this little guy is the same hide. Uh, it'll have a similar thing. Mm -hmm. This has got some uh, elk hide accent, a little more no. cow hide. Um, also, I love doing multicolor paper just for fun. Um, some of them, again, if you want something classic, 
you white know, paper, all white, just very, very just straightforward. Um, yeah, we have that. I put a few on our website uh, this morning uh, for you to get an idea, and uh, you're gonna see a video at the end. Uh, if you can, if we can put it on the YouTube, we're gonna put a little video of our work. Uh, you're gonna be surprised too. Uh, so, what do you want to show, show me? Wow. So, Dueling. two things. First, the lighter leathers will darken as they get dirty. Sometimes people like uh, like the more patinaed leathers, um, even the darker leathers. This hide gets to become this after a couple of years. Now, granted, I handle this all the time. This is my scissors case. Right. So, ultimately, uh, this gets a lot of oil from my hand, which conditions it, softens it, and gives it a little bit of that shine patina. So once you love on this, sweetie, it will be that way too. <laughs> I guess I, you don't I, get to keep them in the shop long enough to see no, that No, no, uh, not very long, no. <laughs> I, I remember the, I had the, uh, a couple that wanted to do a, a world tour and uh, wanted to make a present to their kids and say, some, mm. and they say, I want them to write something and to remember the trip. This is so special. They bought two journals mm. and that was, that was the very special time. That was a special moment for me. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So I have a lot of people that uh, are traveling or that love to travel and plan to use the journal over the course of several years. Mm -hmm. um, just to have all those different adventures kind of put into one place. Um, right, show, show me what you do because... So this is, for example, I, I, love, I love the classic papers. I love all kind of paper. Uh, I love this one especially because I get to take it everywhere. And just for an example, um, I'm going to show you random things. Uh, this is an example of a page where I didn't fill it up completely. And some of these, when I look back through the journal, they're the more beautiful ones to me. Because you do get to appreciate uh, the paper and what is there has some shape to it. I like shape. Uh, so just by contrast, like sometimes I can write multiple things and separate it out. Or if you're feeling if you're feeling intimidated <laughs> and you you're not even sure you want to reread what you wrote, you're not sure if it's any good. Just go wild. Let me see. Where's a good example of that? Well. All of it, really. <laughs> All of it. Yeah. Also, for example, this is something that I let someone else sketch in my journal. I do this all the time. Uh, people, I'll be sitting somewhere at a cafe or something like that, and people will ask about my journal, and uh, and if they, then, yeah. yeah, and if they, um, I, you can tell when people kind of light up, yeah. and I, I love to just push the journal over mm -hmm. in front of them yeah. and have them sketch something. This is an example where I I was writing about something related to the sun, I'm sure. So this is some content that I'm pretty happy that you can't read. <laughs> but I'm no, happy to show it to you because very good. Uh, There's many sometimes reasons it's not for about the content. Right. There's many reasons for the, the journal. I mean, like, okay, this is for, because you're of your cross crew. I see. Okay, this is a, a trip in Napa Valley and. Uh, you know, I want to put uh, all my uh, test, my tasting in there, but uh, you sell also journals for cooks and uh, yep. recipes. I mean, tell me, there's yeah. so much about about the journal, right? Absolutely. And oh, by the way, can you refill them? I mean, can you rebind them? Uh, I get I that, think, question I think a lot. that question a lot. Yeah. Um, in the case of these journals, the paper costs more than the leather. So, hmm. really, what you're true. paying for the leather is there to protect the paper. And this is an opportunity to honor what it is that you are yeah. writing yeah, yeah, and it, protecting so. it. Because, for example, in these, if you were to take out the binding, um, each individual set of pages is bound to the leather. So, for example, I'll show you on the white paper. If you were to cut the binding, then you would just have a bunch of loose paper. So, you can see here where this is what we call a signature, yeah. um, that corresponds to this first line on the outside where it's stitched to the hide. I just cut the slots. And then when you open the middle of the signature, 
you see uh, where is stitch stands. So there are plenty of refillable journals on the market. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm interested in doing is um, is creating something that's worth holding on to. Whether or not you think that your mm -hmm. content is brilliant or whatever, sometimes it's more about the experience of interacting with the journal, um, yeah. the places that you were, and the it's the kind of company you keep. You know, if this is your daily interaction, um, that is that is worth it. Rather than I need to refill it to make it worth it. Okay, thank you. Having it makes it worth yeah. it. So where, where can we find you? Uh, I mean, on I mean, Royal Street. Do, I mean, do, course, you know, do you have any website? I do have a website. Um, I, I sell through Etsy, and I'm working on a brand new website. Okay. Uh, so right now, just nuance, through us, a nuance. Nuancejournals.com. Okay. Uh, or nuance journals on Etsy. Nuance because. Uh, it's all about subtlety and the unique aspects and uh, I love making journals and I love making journals that have personality. Um, so... That's where you are. <laughs> <laughs> no shortage of the personality, yeah. <laughs> for better or worse. Well guys, uh, thank you for listening and uh, any questions? Uh, did, uh, Elise, did you find any you we're about out of time. Okay, we're also out of time. if you That's post fine. if you post questions in the comments uh, for me or obviously for Patrick, yeah. um, then uh, we can either respond or we can do another we can answer it in another live live stream sometime. So let us know what you're curious about or what you like. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and see you next Friday. <laughs> <laughs>